Hi, I'm uh, JP. I'm a GUI instructor from the Netherlands and I'm the developer from GUI's Documentation Diver program. The program has been running now for four years and it seems to be a misconception that this program is only about photo and video. It's actually not, it's about a lot more than that. This program is all about the basics of project documentation and what it means to be a project diver. And I think one of the biggest key elements being successful in project, it's all about structure. So one of our modules is teaching our students about basic project management. Everybody heard of an image says more than a thousand words and it's absolutely true. That's why understanding a camera and picking the right camera for the job is a big part of this class. So it's also taking ownership of the technique of a camera understanding the influence of aperture, shutter speed, white balance, but also how to work with lights, static lights and dynamic. Being in a sequence with models and moving all those elements in an underwater scene and composing a shot is vital to the success of the imagery of any documentation phase of a project. Data leads to understanding and understanding leads in the end of the day to protection. So ways to gather data, what we call survey, are also a component of this class. We're talking about creating stick maps in caves, but also doing precise measurements on a shipwreck or maybe an archaeological site. And gathering all this information to come to some kind of consensus is also a big part of what we teach you in this class. New for 2018 is a technique we call photogrammetry. And it's basically the science of creating a 3D image from a series of still images. This can be very interesting, for instance, if you want to create a 3D uh, representation of the profile of a cave or you want to come to some kind of consensus for the identification of shipwrecks. And apart from that, it has a really high cool factor. So very, uh, I would say, excited that this became a part of the documentation diver class as well. So how are we going to manage all these streams of data, all the information gathered? We might want to tell a story using video editing techniques or write an accompanying piece of text or maybe an article for Quest magazine. This year we also added a module about Project Baseline for people to understand the significance of what we're trying to do with Project Baseline. But also that there's a relatively low threshold to start any Project Baseline initiative in your own diving area. Right? Just select a site and start measuring information and documentation specific sites and all leading to, I would say, this growing database of the quality of the water reserves of our planet. A couple of weeks ago I ran a GUI documentation diver program here in the Netherlands and the participants were all very new to the content of this class. So as an end product they created a little video showcasing what it means to be a GUI documentation diver. I might understand you have some questions or general require any general information. You can always contact me or any of the many GUI documentation diver instructors around. I think it's the best dive location here in the Netherlands. The dive center is located, located at uh, the, the, the northern uh, lake. And well, this is the whole area where we can dive. There is around, let's say, some 20 nice dive spots where we will dive today. It's called the Isle of Eight, number eight. There we can find the barge and that is where we have the project today. As a project manager, it's a great advantage to have trained documentation divers as participants in your team. Not only do they know exactly what they need to do, so very efficient in, in communication, their dive planning, underwater, they know the tools, but also they come back with the required results. So I would say they have the skills and the knowledge to participate and to function in a team as a very, very so, yeah, valuable team member. Being part of many GUI projects all over the world, both in open water and in caves, 
I learned that the participants, being excellent jewelry project divers, lack their foundational skills in project documentation. So we started thinking about creating a class called Dewey Documentation Dive. The Dewey Documentation Diver class has been running now for several years and we're seeing now the results of our students participating in projects they're gathering much more detailed information, they have very structured diving plan and team sequences and the information and the data they bring back is highly accurate so I would say it's a great success.